Okay everyone, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can check out your iPhone's location history. Now, it's not as specific that it doesn't track every single movement of yours that you would be able to see it on a map as like a path of where you went, but you can check out significant locations. To do this, you need to open up the settings like that and make sure to get to the main section in case you happen to be somewhere else. And scroll down and go to the privacy and security. It is accompanied by the blue icon with like a palm gesture on it. So go ahead and tap on that and tap on location services. By the way, if you don't even have it turned on, apparently it's not gonna give you any significant locations, but I assume that you have it turned on at least generally or for like a weather app or something like that. But just scroll down and go through all of these things. And here are some of the apps which may or may not have access to your location. You can customize it as much as you like. But at the bottom, we have the system services. So go ahead and tap on that. Multiple different toggles here as well. But one of them under or at the end of the list is one called significant locations. For me, it is turned on. And for you, by default, it should be turned on as well. When you click on that, it has to scan your face and you have to to authenticate yourself to check it out as it contains some information which is not supposed to be disclosed to anyone else so apparently keep it to yourself and i'm not gonna like share it with you but this is the page where you need to check out to see the most common locations where your iphone is so yeah it doesn't apply to every device on the, your apple id grid so if you have like an ipad with the same apple id the significant locations don't apply to it so it is specific or tied to one device only so that would be the first thing and besides that there are some different apps which can track your device all the time and give you like a a brief list or like a summary at the end of the day but these are like a third-party developers and i would not really recommend you to give permission to an app to track you 24 7 so it's an option as well if you want to but it's not something i would recommend besides that you can also just use the find my network but you're probably familiar with that and you can only like check out and see the other devices for example you might check the location from different device as well so yeah it depends on what you want to achieve but uh, these are the things and like the built-in tools available to you uh, besides that, before we wrap up, I need to show you the Foxtag platform on school. You can go ahead and join it right now. It is free to do so. As of right now, there are a couple of different courses, but um, it's going to be redesigned. I'm currently working on it. So yeah, as of right now, the price is free. Not sure how well or what the price point will be in the future. So go ahead and join right now and I will wait for you inside. For now, thanks a lot for watching. Hit the thumbs up and I'll catch you in the, one of the next tutorials.